A unit of Walgreens has agreed to buy CityMD Parent Summit Health. It's a deal worth $8.9 billion. Bertha Coombs joins us now and has a lot more on these details. Bertha. David, you know, Walgreens is getting a boost today and a leg up in the land grab in healthcare right now for primary care assets. Village MD, which is majority owned by Walgreens, has struck, struck an $8.9 billion deal to acquire Summit City MD Health. Now, Walgreens is contributing $3.5 billion in debt and equity to that deal, while Cigna's Ever North is also making a strategic investment. Now, Summit City MD operates about 150 urgent care locations in the greater New York, New Jersey area. It also own standalone physician practices, which is one of those things that everyone is in the market for right now. The combined company with Village MD will have nearly 700 provider locations in 26 markets. For Walgreens, the deal provides more doctors as it leverages its 53 percent stake in Village MD to expand its primary care offerings and adds urgent care part of CEO Roz Brewer's strategy to diversify the pharmacy giant. She has said that she is focused on investment in the healthcare unit right now. It's part of the reason why the stock has struggled so far this year. But if this Village MD deal closes at year end, the healthcare division, Walgreens, will become EBITDA positive early in 2023. And the deal itself will boost 2024 adjusted earnings and fiscal 2025 sales. It's not clear how much Cigna is contributing, but last week, CEO David Cordani signaled the company was in the hunt for tuck-ins and deals rather than a big acquisition. And David, you know, the interesting thing here is that this is sort of the third deal for Ross Brewer this year. She closed Shields, the specialty farmer, earlier this year. She closed CareCentrics, which is home care, all private deals, as opposed to CVS and Amazon, which have gone after public companies, which involves a lot more regulatory process. Right. Um, although there is a regulatory review for these deals as well. But it does speak to the increasing competition, Bertha. You know, I wonder, though, CVS obviously has Aetna. There is a presence here of a health insurer. You just mentioned Cigna. But does, are, there, are there any thoughts that Walgreens may want to even go more towards the CVS model? She hasn't really talked about that and feels that there is a bit of an advantage to sort of being payer agnostic at this point where you can operate with everyone. Of course, if you have your own insurance company, you can steer people into your network. But at this point, the strategy is to have those assets that everyone can use and you don't sort of, you know, lock out your frenemies. Bertha, thank you.